What's happening, everybody? Joe for Joe Wentz Project. And yes, as you can see, we are at Guitar Center today. This is uh, my son right here. This is Nathan. Today, we're celebrating his birthday. Happy birthday, son. <laughs> He's not a big talker on camera. So we're going to go in Guitar Center here, man, and check it out. See what's going on. Last time I tried doing this, it was a live video, and it didn't do good at all. It just sucked. So we're going to do just uh, pre-record some video here and check things out. They look like they're pretty crowded. That's awesome. Doing good, man. How you doing? That's awesome. Where is that? Uh... I remember that guitar. Oh, no thanks. I'm not crazy about those guitars. <laughs> That's nice. And there she is, the transparent blue Epiphone. And there's the honey burst. 549. Now this little amp right here is really cool. I played it a couple of months ago. It's the Fender Super Champ times two. And it's really nice, man. 379. And yes, it actually has a tube in it. it sure does. It's got a uh, preamp tube and two 6v6 power tubes. No wonder that little thing sounds so good. Sounds really cool though. I like it. All right, and here is the transparent Epiphone Blue. My son's gonna give us a test run here. And what do you think about this guitar, man? It's nice. You like it? And we're going through the uh, Boss Katana. It's 199. Go ahead, son. Play his little song. kind of uh, different effects we got here on this on this amp here all right we got it on uh, brown the amp type got the gain I guess about three o'clock volumes about maybe nine o'clock bass middle treble boost and reverbs up just a little bit and then delay pretty nice amp I really like it it's really cool
And the band board here, I guess you could say, looks awesome. pretty yeah. slim. Pretty slim. All right. That was our trip to Guitar Center, man. Had a great time. It was fun. It was cool to hang out with my son and us play some guitars. That's just what we like to do, man. We like to uh, go there and daydream, if you will. <laughs> so it was cool. He was there for, for a few hours. And so I just had to... Uh, put some clips together that I uh, took while I was there and it was pretty cool, man. It was really fun. Had a good time. And, uh, I was trying to show that band board at the end there and, and that wasn't going over too good because some, some employees kept walking back and forth through the hall, you know, and it was walking right in front of the camera, which, you know, they were going to, you know, go in the back room and check in stock and all that stuff. So that's cool. That's their job. That's what we're supposed to do. You know, it's no problem, but I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you. If not, please subscribe. You know, check the links below to find out more about me and my t-shirts. If you're interested, uh, I love to do daily vlogs. I love to do guitar-related videos. And as you can tell, I love Van Halen. A couple of license plates there, stuff like that. And uh, guitars, of course, you know. I tell you what, the, I think the best guitar... Well, the guitars I played in, in the clips, you know, I played, a, of course, the Epiphone... Les Paul St uh, Standard Pro, and it was the transparent blue. Played that. I liked it. Uh, the neck's pretty thick, but it's okay. It's um, I got one just like it, so it's no big deal. I, I like that guitar. Uh, there was a Mitchell. Are y'all familiar with Mitchell guitars? Uh, there's a, a, a buddy of mine who has his own channel, uh, Johnny A. Or Johnny Anderson is his name, and he uh, has a fluorescent green Mitchell. Uh, and has a maple fretboard in it and he i talked to him about it before uh and he said it plays like butter it's really cool and they had one there but it wasn't the the uh, fluorescent green it was like the i guess the dark red as you saw in the clip and he was right that thing played phenomenally well i was like oh my god i was like man if i had the money that thing was going on with me so that guitar played the best out of all the guitars I played far as feel. The neck was really slim. Man, it play. It was so easy to play on that thing. Um, the second favorite that I played was actually, as you probably saw if you paid attention, was like a Randy Rhodes Jackson kind of deal. And my son has one just like it, except his is white, and it's got the black on the outside. This one was uh, black with the white on the outside. So it's just like what he has. And it has Jackson pickups in it. And it was there at Guitar Center for two sixty nine. I was like, is that, is this a new guitar? And I asked my son, I said, is this right? He's like, yes, yeah, how much I paid for mine. But he ordered his off Amazon because he wanted the white. And this one was the black. And surprisingly enough, that guitar played very well. I was like, man, this thing plays good. So uh, it was really awesome, man. So yeah, uh, <clears throat> let's see. The Mitchell was the best playing guitar out of the ones that I played. And uh, the Randy Rose Jackson. And that's really a low budget model, you know, 269, but it played great. And then the uh, Epiphone Les Paul Standard Pro, the transparent blue. That was that's how it ranged, you know, for playability for me. Of course, everybody's different, you know. But uh, I'm gonna tell you, I might be thinking about a Mitchell. <laughs> I might be seriously thinking about a Mitchell electric guitar because that's the first time I've ever played one, and that thing, oh, oh man, it played. And I know that thing needs to be set up, but I was able to. Barely able to get it in tune because you know how it is at Guitar Center, man. Everybody puts their hands on it and the, the fine tuners are almost all the way down. You don't have no play. 
to tune anything, you know, but I'm telling you what, I'm thinking about getting a Mitchell and I'm thinking about getting that, that, uh, fluorescent green or lime green, like my buddy, uh, Johnny Anderson's got. And if you haven't checked out Johnny Anderson, man, check out his channel, Johnny Anderson on YouTube. Phenomenal guitar player, man. My God, if you like shred, like Ingve kind of stuff and Randy Rhodes, you know, that's the channel you need to check out and subscribe to, man. He's a really cool dude. And, um, he can wail. <laughs> I was like, dang, if I could only play like that, you know, but, uh, it's okay, man. I just play what I can and have fun. But that's what it was about today was having fun. We had a good time. It was a blast. Got to hang with my son and, uh, I got back home and, uh, it started, you know, a bad storm had moved through here while I was gone. I got back and it was just raining a little bit. And, uh, I saw my wife right before she left. So I went with her. We went to the grocery store and got her a few groceries Came back and we're making homemade pizzas, kind of like what Johnny Bean does, I think. But I think he goes like the Whole Foods and stuff, you know, stuff like that. We just got this stuff from the grocery store. You just make the stuff and add your ingredients. Or, you know, like Johnny would tell you, he uses only the freshest ingredients. Johnny's Restaurant. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much. I'm going to wrap this up. I know I've bored you enough. Hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself. Until next time, this is Joe for the Joe Project. Bye-bye.